and report very early and be there. I don't want to miss any event because I know this is a blessing and I don't want to escape from that blessing. I want to get it from the start up to the end. So come one, come all, let's meet there. Si don alwo daru duju me berutie me nyu tuki wi lobo de yu pa chuli kit ma chuli wa kekere e kit ma iglesia e kit pa katoli e kit pa wana chuli de yero ki de yu me ketu e kom daru ma rom meti la mal kit man o miera wi lobo nge a nge yu ni wi lobo nero de yu me vola ma o chero i wi yero da wudu kelo ki jildo e roa i lobo roma Don iwangi ka yo makit man ti wa botwa miel vola ne bi beru i rom mere e enoni pei king we ri bini nan kit mati mekere ki jemi mukare duju magi bi yo pogi we ri lokman u bet gin ma wi lobo kolo mwaka ki mwaka wi gi bi beru ka po ie dari u betiro i record me wi lobo next month on the 11 on the 20th of november 2022 We are grateful and we ask everyone who is able please come and witness. It is a great day it has never happened in Uganda it's the first of its kind and we are very glad. Come all come and witness come and get blessings. Thank you. Ne yo ma bibino ni kwe pa la dit Reverend Father Dr. Ambrosoli Joseph Pero kala, ito ma para siya. Yupi ini, yupi ma pa, ma bikon yung luwa. Ni actually, bikon yung luwa. Ni Uganda, bikon yung luwa. Dutch, piano ko mi actually. Kip ma ang Brazil pero kwaire. So para di ni mo, Islam tikin, Protestant tikin, Katolika maling tikin. Dur ma pa pa ka tikin. Walau kampiri, tu berikan wira dana. Jika lem berikan nama kony, kita boleh dapat doktor ambusol. Jom kita mabek kita kirim. Kita harus cing, kita cuba kacar. Ingat mana mesti wara, ingat mana put benar cawan. Kony ker ni, kaca coklat di coklat meri bin. Kony ke peni yang ini kita kau beri beti. Kita kumi kalaga. Beatification of Dr. Father Dr. Ambrosoli. My young elder, you cannot come and do one. 
kit me dini katolika daran o tiu na ko ti jeu nyuro do kimoni uno da pat tu ero berne ni en la lei en process me beatification ki kine me il lo kerne we hope dan mala lei yo e said the catholic church so man ki stage ma pire ta ma onlega me katoli timo ma e pol kare a youth me beatification ti me rom ti me rom ata wangi a pop mo koni yop en be bot wa ki gan ka man bi ber gum ti an yop en ni pol kare ka no pe ko pe kit ma a vatikan ye ni mer ni me wa ki gan ka ma da mo na ko ye ni no wan yo ka ko rom bi ke ro be mo ko ta den ki da pe re me na na ki ma pe ni kere ato ko bi ni ki ni be mo ko ta ta ko bi ni da pi ra ri o me ni ma pa ra chi el mo ka li wa ri o ki pi ra ri o e ni i ka la ma cha la te la ma cha la ye a ti u me ni ki tu an me chu an ni a lo ma te ko lu ak ni ma ti u ki ka e ni me mi ni yo mo pa yo ma wan ko bi ni wa wi ra ke re ki ti ko ko ma le ga ki ti ko 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 a pe ko ma ko ko ni ke re kit me nan kit tit ma pat pa ko le ka ki ke ru wa ka ki ja ru wa i greet you all in the name of our savior lord jesus christ i know many of you are aware this year we are blessed with the beatification of dr father ambrosoli that will take place at calon on the 20th november 2022 and i want to make you aware that during this time as we wait for the time of beatification we are all us to emulate the good examples of dr ambrosoli especially his dedication and service to the very vulnerable people in this part of the world at calon and northern uganda in general we want also to emulate his good examples of life particularly his spiritual life he was a very prayerful dedicated and committed priest who served with love and joy watie ki kwe madit 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 matika bino in in repierario me duma para che kwe mengo penwi kwe paladit dr ambrosoli en ambrosoli ma bere na kane ko pele pele pe bulu ma tika ta on nien yes kene ana ngene da no wangi do bene mer ki fonji ye no tie na mo tie ke nyu ala ge en to chope kar me do nyi we ko pe ngi ngi nga ma ambrosoli kwe ma diet ma tika bi ne ngi opola kar ba ka mi history ma tie di pola kar e ni wi ni ki tie beautifying da no da tie do sense ke me wa ro bot po Ero ino ko ber jalu to ko ber dok jalu bu ti ka bien wey do ba ti ka ma ala on ka ko une ma mier unu ngene ma ne ti akelo bu ma ti to twani bot un ne wan ma jalu lo ne juli amen ma ti ajoto ka la on ka ni kwero ni ne ma la chum pa pop bi bi ne ka la on ka ni ne ne ka mi waro ti kom doktor joseph a prozone ma ti ka la on ka Otimo dio mo pol ma ben paron wa cha eto dio mo tin wen dio mo pe jumala pore pe oto ben kan ben wa ti ki yiga ben kan cha la nyala me kan ner wa wa ber ka nen no tik ma ya ki mo ma wa no no ko ni pe jo ni wi lu ben nen ko te no iglesia katolika malen ben nen ko to wa ko te mo ku era ki cha ko te mo ki ku era ko me ki cha ko ni no ka ma ngi nyala ni ye ger me no do ko re mo me no te mo ku duru mo me tim kar mo do ko dana ma diet ki din me no bi no tim di africa uganda to to ale ka lo kan wa ko mo ko ni dana ni kere ki ngo dana ma len dana ma ba yer no be dana ma len ci don gin ma ka ki kilisia ka tul ka te ka temo ni ene me neno ni kit ma ci pa kilisia ti u kere mi mo ko ni dana dana ma len dana da le ca den remo ki temo don pa sen piara bi yer na do mo tum ngo so man ene ni mak bi timi ni de pierre yo mi do par ciel même wa ene ni ca bi ra dek mi ca ci tin ni ene gi mak do ni beatification ma 
So the theme for our general celebration at Kalon this year on the 20th of November 19, I mean 2022, is God's servant for suffering people. What can we learn from him? First of all, his faith, a deep faith in God, which is a, a common feature for any human being. Any human being is called to believe in God, who is the creator and who is also sustainer, who is what we call even a redeemer for people and who leads people to eternal life. He was very strong in that one. Two, he learned to love God very, very wholeheartedly. And this spirit of loving God, he learned it from his mother who loved him so much. And from also the family in general. Then from his instructions in the school and also in the church. And this spirit was so strong in him, he was now motivated to love others because he was full of love in himself. So he wanted to share that love with other people. Another virtue he had was simplicity. It was very simple man. From a very highly learned uh, family, very rich family, he could have put a lot of feather. He could have put a lot of what you call a bit of wake. But he was a very simple man humble and pure in his intentions. Those three points are very important. Humble, simple, pure in his intentions. 